All right, you ready? All right, so Ricada Law has recently won the Kiwi Farms Lol Cow of the Year, beating out such contenders as Bossman Jack, wow. Ethan Ralph, Chris Chan, DSP, Wings of Redemption. Is Ralph on the list? He was. Ralph got, I think, 6% of the vote. He's just not. He's washed. Bro. He's not even, even like from a enough. From a Lol Cow perspective, he's washed. He's not even like fun to be a Lol Cow anymore. That sucks. Boogie 2988, even. Ricada Law somehow <sighs> managed to be a bigger Lol Cow than all of them this year. He was catfished by a man. His marriage is falling apart. He's an alcoholic. So we're going to go. We're going to do a recap in this year in Ricada Law. Alyssa Clips made this. So shout out to Alyssa Clips. Ralph Alo, uh, once mighty upon the I might cry during this because it's very beautiful. All right, here, here we go. You ready? A Sonichu <laughs> medallion <laughs> oh, has no. um, been passed to me. I don't know where this came from. So... As many people know, the the, the Sonichu curse, it passed from Chris Chan into Ethan Ralph and then into Nick Fuentes. And now Nick Ricada has put, taken it upon himself yeah. to merge with Magi Chan and become the new Lol Cow avatar. It's quite something. The unholy relic, as they say. Yes. Yes. I am being sued. It's a Monty. Oh. <laughs> it's fucking Monty. <laughs> he immediately gets sued for defamation. <laughs> Kino. Look at Nina. She looks concerned. Oh, shit. DeGraff. DeGraff has always been into sucking uh, little, little boy c which is weird. No. Ricardo. This is the things people can do to you. <laughs> If you guys don't know, I mean, I'm I'm well over, I think I'm well over forty thousand dollars into this lawsuit. Forty grand. <laughs> Do you think? Hey, by the way, well over he forty thousand. You guys don't know. I mean, I'm I'm well over, I think I'm well over forty thousand dollars into this lawsuit. Forty grand. I'm gonna just look at that. <laughs> That's so funny. That should be a badge in the chat. It really should. Do you think? That Montagraph sued me because I said, sue me, try it. Clip this all you want and sue me if you want, you fucking get child molesting fucking get. Like, do you, do you uh, honestly think? I, oh. <laughs> oh, seems like you I asked mean, for you it. called it down upon yourself. <laughs> Those statements cost him 40 grand so far. Well, uh, probably more. Plus damages probably more, probably once more. he fucking loses. That that is the Montagraph's like you know what I'm not gonna sue Nick for anything. Oh wait, he said to sue me. Now I'm gonna do it. Any news on the loss? You suck penis and kid penis. You f sue me. He's like, okay. Sure. What are you gonna no. do? You stab me? Last words of a stab man. <laughs> yeah. There's no there's no updates. Just waiting on ruling. For whatever reason, our uh, judge decided that this was. Uh, this was not frivolous, even though it's clearly fucking frivolous. I hate this trial. I hate everything about this. Three weeks. I've wasted three fucking weeks of my life, Kurt. I'm sitting here and I'm going, why in goddamn hell am I watching this? You know, Imagine I mean, an alcoholic who's blackout 24-7. Man, he's seven. just spurging out there. But, but, but imagine an alcoholic who's blacked out for half his life. Yeah. is concerned about wasting three weeks. You're wasting your life. You waste every day. You wait. Your your whole existence is a waste. What are you doing, Kurt? No, I can be doing. I can be sleeping. Send I can be eating. this video to the judge. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I can be Someone cooking. Chat, I can be going. Chad said that. Going out and doing chores. I can be spending time with my kids. I can be spending time with my wife. I can be going to the cities and getting goddamn happy ending mas uh, massages. Whoa. I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, holy. Holy shit. I could be sleeping. <laughs> Kana followed a black prostitute from his area on Instagram. You know what, Fuck you, chat. For the past six months, for the past six goddamn months, I've been talking about nothing but boring politics and law like every fucking get requested they're all like ah this is a law channel this was never <laughs> wait wait this is a law channel it's like if me and ashton started reviewing music you go what the f is this 
never a law channel, but you guys f***ing demanded it. And so I'm sitting here, I'm- Did he say this was never a law channel? Ticks and law, like every f***ing get requested. They're all like, ah, this is a law channel. This was never a law channel, but you guys f***ing demanded it. And so- Ricada Law, law hosted by a lawyer where he's law splaining the, the interwebs law. doing trials and legal analysis of what's Vic Mignogna and Johnny Depp. And yeah, that's still his like main when you're on his channel. That's the bread and butter. I mean, why else would anyone give a fuck about what he has to say? Oh, you don't want to It's not like he's very entertaining. <laughs> you know, like, it's not like he's this great orator or this charismatic presence. He's, like, duller than dishwater, but anyway. Yeah. I'm sitting here. I'm suffering through it. I fucking hate talking about this shit every single day. And they're like, don't talk about anything fun. Don't talk about anything. And you just talk about my goddamn Trump and my guns. Oh, my God. I just need to talk about Trump and guns more. You know what? F you. I'm done talking about Trump and guns every other than like if that's not your thing ah, <laughs> what it midlife is... crisis mode maxing engaged man he's never give me money and leave here we go he's in the kitchen shittered again <gasps> listen to this shit oh my god let's go Did felt it etc <laughs> oh my god fucking hard on kiwi farms the dumbest motherfucker on the planet it was the Fucking stupidest thing I've ever seen. The person who posted that, I don't even know who posted so that. You are the dumbest motherfucker on the planet. You're so goddamn stupid. This is all him seething about yeah, Josh? Yeah. That it's hilarious. Like, you didn't see the obvious bit. You should probably go in and have the doctor check your autism. And when the doctor checks your autism, they shove their fingers. Nick Ricada has been caught at a gay bar named Gay 90s hosting an underwear party <laughs> and karaoke. <laughs> it's in God when Ralph's dunking on you like that. Is it Ralph sucking his dick now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Ralph. Loyal Ricada. Ralph flip We've been loyal friends for years. Yeah. As a birthday present from his wife. People are like, oh, oh, oh. Are you going to go to a gay bar and do an underwear party again like last year? If you... Negroes would understand how much I want to go to a gay bar and do an underwear party. I would 100% do it. But let me tell you the truth the gay bar no longer does underwear parties. So I, can't. <laughs> I can't do them. You ever consider having a sugar daddy, Kyle? <laughs> Whoa, buddy. Of all the questions to say to Kyle Rittenhouse. Whoa, buddy, that's bad, <laughs> buddy. <laughs> Get your money, Wolves. <laughs> Take your gear off. Uh, <laughs> Just borrow some of Skylar's underwear and wear that. Whoa. Bro, yo, hang on. I got to. Look at He's this. He's like, you're illegal now, right, Kyle? <laughs> Look at this kid's face. Poor kid. He's been through enough already, Rakeda. He doesn't need your creepy in sexual advances. Fuck. Some pictures. You know, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> He's like, I thought it was going on with a lawyer, not a fucking drunken idiot. Yeah, yeah. Sex past creep who wants to be my sugar daddy. Oh no. <laughs> when did this happen? Like two weeks ago. Oh, did? It was like, yeah, a month ago or so. Right. Whatever floats <laughs> your boat, Nick. I gotta say, um, you mentioned that I never reached out to you. Uh, I don't have any DMs either. Well, I, I've never taken issue with you like that. Yeah. Dude, you call me out on two live streams by name. Well, yeah, because you were talking about me, Nick. The f you. <laughs> That's so funny. It's the most righteous man. black man. Yeah. Look at how Felton Ricada was there in that moment, by the way. <laughs> That's a Feltinger right Man, there. Look at this guy. He's like, what the what fuck? The f are you talking about? <laughs> you might be renting access to two or three exclusive spaces. You know, I know because I did practice. And I. Whoa. I read a bunch of.
f***ing commercial leases and have negotiated way more of them than you. It matters what you say. If you say, give me $17 and I'll put a comic book on a pallet, you better answer yes when I ask you if it costs $17. If you say it costs $13, then you've exposed yourself to legal liability that you should not expose yourself to because it isn't f***ing real. You're just... Nick, you need to Why relax. Why does he care so much? I don't know. Too goddamn dumb to realize it. And so many people, because of corrupt prosecutors, Imagine have been prosecuted. sad about a comic book. You know? It's like, it's one thing. Like, I'll get that pissed off. But it's about, like, Nick Fuentes protecting pedophiles. Mm. And about, like... Yeah. <laughs> Weird fucking sending young boys to jail on January 6th, snitching and stuff like that. Yeah. It's not about the comic book cost 17. You said it was 13. Oh! Like... <laughs> you did For them being. That's a Spurg sesh. Being stupid. <laughs> yeah. Rather than. I think Eric thinks he's smart. I think he wants to explain why he's so good or whatever, because I'm just a white bread ass. There, there's definitely racial undertones to this speech, isn't there? You think so? <laughs> uh, that don't understand Padna. He is a blackface lawyer. Ooh. Well, you know, uh, he me, actually threatened so to sue someone for saying that. So I have to clarify. He is a lawyer that did blackface. Well, he threatened to sue Maddox for that, right? Oh, okay. Because Maddox said he was a blackface lawyer. And there's a picture of him in blackface. So yeah. you think it'd be okay to say he's a blackface lawyer, but Riccade is like, actually, excuse me, sir, that's not factually accurate. Oh. I never practiced law in blackface. Oh, alcoholic with the bomb. So he's, in fact, just a lawyer that does blackface. So there's the clarification. Yeah. Means friend, I get it. I'm not white, Eric. You don't know fucking shit about me. I well, someone said when I said this, was probably some racial undertones. Someone in chat went, "No shit, Andy." Grew up around black people he my grew entire up with black people his entire life. <laughs> yeah, right. They're from the hood. Well, he grew up with him fucking his wife. <laughs> Every girlfriend he had got dicked down by blacks, and maybe that's why he's seething. I don't know. When Drexel man. plowed her with the baldo the last time and he wasn't allowed to watch, that's why he's <laughs> racist. I grew up in poverty in the fucking hood. I had my vacation location. I didn't disclose my vacation location at all. Riketa, Riketa had an Instagram account and on it, he was following, following two nice uh, Jamaican men. And Riketa was following them. Uh, coincidentally, they both worked at Hedonism 2. No. No! Jordan Jamaica that he hit him too. He's just randomly sending this message to me at midnight in the shower. <laughs> he says that he's in the shower. He's like, no, I'm just texting my bro at night in the shower. And how did that get twisted? Sean, tell me how it got f***ing twisted. That was what is, bad. What is so the narrative bad. about why I talk to Josh? Tell me right now. Because you know. I know you know. What is it? I, what do I, I want Josh to do? Well, tell you, me you want you're on here bringing it up tell me right now <sighs> what do i want josh to do tell me you who does wait okay who does text people in the shower one person Whoa, some one boss. person nobody else that's so <laughs> funny Look at this and he's girl. so quick to put she's his like, head she's like I, uh, uh no it's this, like this guy like one concerned. and a half one and a half. Gosh, this guy looks concerned. Look at, look at this guy. <laughs> Holy. I'm not feeling like this when I'm standing here. Why did you just say that? <laughs> because you were doing your thing and you want to disrespect you. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't take it. Yeah, we had, uh, we had breakfast with him yesterday. Oh, these guys? Is that like Bad Margera? I felt like such a pussy, like. He had a bourbon, and I was just so hungover. I, I so I cracked a beer. The only thing I have with you is Reese. Hold on, I got. Well, that was what? the best thing I ever did was move my. The only thing I have within arm's reach, I don't know. <laughs> what? what is yeah. that? How many balls? The only thing I got within have. arm's reach. Uh, <laughs> just get a little table. Well, no, he's like pulling out more and more. <laughs> it's like a clown, like pulling out the fucking like the handkerchief. Yeah. <laughs>
What the f? This is getting flipped. Wiggled G. Okay, how many bottles? Wait, we're counting. We're counting. How many bottles does he actually have there, man? The infinite liquor glitch. It was like 17 bottles of liquor. That was what? the best thing I ever yeah. did with my life. Yeah, with an arm's reach, I don't know. <laughs> what? what is yeah. that? The only thing I got with an arm's reach. This is getting flipped. Wiggles, shit. But that's all he's got on hand. Plus six unseen bottles? Who the f has 28 bottles of liquor? Ever. Just sitting beside them in their room. Holy. 28 bottles of liquor? On the wall, 28 bottles of liquor. I'm not an alcoholic, lick the ball. Nick drink, sit down. Definitely not an alcoholic. Definitely doesn't have a problem at all. Oh. This is probably really f Wait! It was 23. Ash, we paused too early. Plus six on C. No. <laughs> Good, well, let me, no, let this me is explain like you both. This Evan Williams awesome. was like legit no, a fucking Ash, awesome. I thought he was going to pull another one. Okay, up. here's what I need to do. <laughs> My kid's at the speech tournament and he's like, we might get eliminated in the first round. If we do, we need to ride back home so we can go to prom. So I have to leave my house at 9 a.m. That's Ew. in four hours. You gotta go to bed. Uh, uh, my name. A fucking <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> this image of Ralph. <laughs> oh my god. Can hot tub you. We're gonna build the church. That was the best. That was so funny. Oh man. He was like dying on screen. What did I do? <laughs> the best is when he was like, he had the two glasses. He's like. <laughs> but the great thing is, it's also the substance that probably won't murder you unless you drive on it. I don't tell you to wake up, wake my kid up and think, hey, get some clothes on, let's go. Normally, tomorrow I don't have shit. But that's normally. So you go with that, it's fine. It's a good uh, outfit. Mandy, I'm telling you this right now, Mandy. This is Buffalo Dan's point of view. <laughs> what does that even mean? This is Buffalo Dan? I think Buffalo Dan is Mandy. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh... Show up to Anime Matsuri. I will 100%. I've changed my mind on this. Mandy, I will sign your tits. I got to prep Lady Rackets for this. I got to tell her. Hey, I got to tell her. This is so I'm going to cheat on you. Like, what? Before she's there. Which one? What, what is it? Are you gonna show up or are you gonna oh, not? Man, dick. <laughs> you came and you put your cock in. You better fing buy a ticket. <laughs> Camelot, do you know Mandy? Yeah. Mandy. How can someone not know Mandy? She has nice tits. Mandy is yeah, so fing gorgeous. What is, uh, what? This is cringe. Oh, man. This is so shameful. Imagine being his kids and seeing yeah, this shit. Oh, man. Dude. His wife seeing this shit. I mean, she, they're like swingers or whatever, anyway. It's all just degenerate, cuckold shit. Yeah. That's why they need to go into cuckology to try and cope it. Yeah, it's like... <sighs> Eat that ass. <laughs> oh my god. Mandy, if I was single... If I were single... Mandy, you would never be single again. Mandy, if oh, I... Psycho has a hot take. Did you see this? Married women shouldn't be touching breasts... Married men shouldn't be touching breasts that aren't his wives. Yeah, well, hot take. We're not it's married. Contrarian. contrarian, definitely. Everybody knows that married men are allowed to do whatever the f they want. 
Six Girl. women in the gang. Nice. Tag orgy, I can. Suffer, wife. I'll do as I want. Would <laughs> wreck you. I would save you. I would do whatever on earth. I would do whatever on earth to praise you. Whoa. These weird guys who are like, That's oh, you're that. too depressed He'll or whatever. Do whatever on earth to praise her. Like the simping of that. Like. If even if it was a real woman, like the embarrassing beta simp level of saying I would do anything to praise you, yeah, you know, that's it's like some fat boy slim shit. It's, it's but it turned out shirtless. to be a man. Like that girl's shirtless, is black man's shirtless. They're all shirtless. What happened here? No, like Mandy is so goddamn hot. Mandy is fucking. Phenomenally hot. Oh, Mandy oh, is so hot. Mandy, no. you come to my Surrey. Imagine being it. Buffalo Dan just in your like cum encrusted liquor den, oh. your boxers around your legs, and you're just jerking off to Rakeda praising you as a woman. Like, it's sick. It's really Rakeda's like getting some fing <clears throat> creepy fing cross dressing man off. A man who's getting off on pretending to be panties. a woman. This is Rakeda's life. This is all the while humiliating his wife and children. His and wife publicly. doesn't love him. But Buffalo Dan is Mandy. <laughs> Mandy's real name is Dan. He went by the handle <laughs> Buffalo Dan. Fawn over Mandy. I got way out of hand, and uh, I said some shit that that was. Be on the line involving a couple different people, so um, that can't that type of shit can't happen. Identity of Mandy is a guy named Daniel Paul Harris out of Tejas. All kinds of stuff matches up, and the reason why we figured that out on the farms is because uh, when Joe had Mandy call in, he accidentally had Mandy's number on the screen, and tracing the number goes back to a guy named Daniel, and there's enough of a tracing back through Daniel's history. He may have known a woman named Mandy Caravicious back when he lived in Louisiana. So yeah, that's, that, it's very weird. Yeah, the dude was digitally skinwalking this woman for like 20 years almost. Oh, man. No. This edit. Alyssa yeah, Clips. Like, it's really let's crescendo give it up to her. here. This is you can. This is really good. Hey man, you teased with the picture. Now fucking go to bed, oh man. I heard Mandy is a man, so um, so I guess no, right? I, I mean, I'm not into that. <laughs> you wow. No, Ralph only got 2.7%. He's not even like a, a blink. Holy f***. He got less than Liz Fong Jones. He got less than Cyrax. Less than Dylan Mulvaney. Well, that kind of makes sense. Wow. Ah! Oh! oh, she took the screenshot that we uh, we did on our show. Yeah. Like, that's the one that we paused on. Wow. 2023 Lowell Cow of the Year. I have a short one for you here. It's also All right. on Alyssa here. Uh, it, it's it's really short, but that by the way, that was amazing. That was amazing. Uh, it's real fast. A quick lie from a Nick Rakata here. The one thing I will not ever do, ever, is my pledge. I will never lie to you. It's not in who I am. People think Nick would just discard everyone over Eric. Lol, people are weird. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't do that for anybody at all so yeah i don't know man all of that shit I, I like look back on what i was like why why is this even a thing hmm. all i ever did was like this i'm so fucking go ahead the only time i ever talked about it was promoting the book, be, be, promoted the book. every single art panel i've seen in the comic is bad ah! like, like, <laughs> uh the test came in the lie detector says that, that was a lie, that but was the lie detector test was himself. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not talking about the story. 
I got, I'm not talking about the plot. I'm not gonna, talking about anything Air July has to do with this comic. Let's say um, this right now. It's ten more seconds. Every Guys, single art panel I have seen from the Ripperverse, from ISOM to Alpha Core, everyone. This is not every panel that exists. I'm just saying everyone that I've seen. All of them have bad art and inconsistent lighting. I'll never lie to you. It's, it's not in who I am. It's not in who he is. <laughs> Same as cock. I remember him trying to tell me that lawyers never lie, and as a lawyer, he would never lie. Oh, f I never lie. Like, said the fucking liar. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> 